Welcome to the session. Greeting of the day. In the previous classes, we have talked about the shielded metal arc melting process, its working principles, applications, and advantages we have seen. And in continuous with that, we have to see about the the categories of this electrode also. We are using the consumable electrode. This consumable electrode is categorized into three categories that we are going to see in this class. What is the function of this consumable electrode which is coated with the flux material? So induces easier arc starting because we are adding the ion particles here. And then the arc stability constantly it should not uh, cut off in between the welding process. Improve the weld bead appearance and improve the weld bead appearance and penetrations. For such cases, we have smooth running of welding to be there and reduces the spatter uh, very importantly. High current causes the spattering operations, but all things to reduce. So the coating on the core wire is made up of how we are making therefore to make this conductivity arc stability to avoid spatters we are using hydrocarbons, low ionization potential elements, binders and sodium silicate and potassium silicates are used in all kind of electrodes. We have three kind of electrodes are there, basic, rutile, cellulose. In this all these three we are adding this sodium silicate and potassium silicate to act as a, to create the ionization process in such a way the current polarity will flow through without any obstacles therefore we are adding this to silicate for the sodium silicate and the potassium silicates so i am dividing this three in this categories there are three distinct type of electrodes are available used in the smaw process we are talking about the consumable smaw welding electrodes cellulose electrode which is used for mainly as a key point I am telling cellulose electrode used for deep penetration rutile electrodes general purposely we can use maybe for vertical portion, high portion or all portions something is a general, general purpose electrodes and the basic electrodes which contains here in this two the hydrogen absorptions are there due to that the defect called hydrogen embrittlement will come in this two to avoid those things, we are using low hydrogen electrodes, which gives the basic electrode as an advantage. We will see one by one. So the flux coating contains in the cellulose electrode, I have taken as number one as cellulose electrodes. What it contains? It contains the cellulose material, which is a natural compound, mainly used for creating the shielding gas releaser. We know. We have not additionally supplying like a gas welding process, so the cylinders are not there. The electrode which is touched in immediate, this consumer electrode creates the shielding gas and protects the environment. I told you. This causes movement, movement of this electrode also creates the improper shielding that we have seen at the previous points. Therefore, from where the shielding gas comes, the shielding gas comes from the cellulars. It is a shielding gas releaser. So number one we are adding. Then we are adding titanium dioxide, a slag former to keep a slow cooling process, a warmer process, therefore to avoid this immediate rapid cooling strategies and to avoid the crack propagations. So we are adding the titanium dioxide also on the cellulose electrode in the flux. Sodium silicate are added and potassium silicates are added for the purpose of main ionizers. So what happens when this adding? It, it acts as ionizing components. Therefore, the fluctuations of current or fluctuations of arc incision will not happen. If the arc is too much long, the circuitry will be disconnected and therefore welding will be stopped. The ionization to be there, plasma to be created, heat to be generated, then only the melting occurs. So this will help for more ionization methods in between the electrode and the work pieces. So cellulose burns, the same point I am telling, this point. Cellulose burns to produce hydrogen and carbon monoxide provides the shielding to the arc. So see, the shielding is provided here by the cellulose, shielding gas release. Presence of these gases due to this hydrogen and carbon monoxide, presence of this is in the arc building, high ionization potentials are generated 
results in high arc energy you see arc energy is created now continuous welding can be done no arc stabilization is there no arc disturbance are not there and all portion welding can be done and therefore all portion what is this all portion 1g 2g 3g 4g 6g all portions can be done by this cellulose electrodes also we keep the electrode and we keep the metal this is to be melted and deposited this is to be melted and deposited here so what i have to do here the electron should flow in this direction the impinging action to be made towards the positive positive should receive more heat and it melted and it deposited so i am connecting and connecting dc electrode as positive so what happens likewise i have to connect in such a way this positive will be there negative will be here and here the plasma will be generated due to this plasma actions here in this zone the plasma will be generated this electrons will release from the negative side and ions will release from the electrode side both will impinge and creates the plasma but the flow electrons are lesser in weight and it can able to move faster than that of the ions and impinge over the heat heat generated over other end of the negative other end of the negative is positive the heat generated at the positive therefore positive receives the heat and it melts the electrode that is what we need electrode melting we need and electrode after melting deposited over the automatic deposit over the work pieces this v group v gap can be welded v gap can be welding can be made in specific suitable for direct current electrode positive that now only we have talked sma and w process utilizes dc electrode positive where the heat receives the positive receives heat and melted and deposited so the cell loss electrode will be helpful for direct current electrode positive results in the deep penetration if it is high heat and high melting occurs good fluidity we will get and therefore we can go to the up to the zero mo and can be welded so deeper penetration deeper fusion or up to the root gap the root gap we have to be filled that will be helpful by the deeper penetration or and rapid burn off rate calling high welding speeds what it is uh, we are told arc stability is there due to this good formation of shielding gas more heat is generated and more melting is generated in immediate then what we can do even if it is heated and melted why you want to keep slowly we should move we can move faster the welding can be done faster our purpose of slow heating our purpose of slow welding process is to make heating at a specific location if it is heated if it is melted if it is deposited why we want to keep our hands there itself we can move fast to the next locations so the burn off rate is high and therefore welding speed also high the simple this cellulose shielding gas provided improves the arc stability improves the good shielding improves the welding speed improves the deeper penetrations so such advantages are there in this cellulose electrode but uh, one problem is there it produces hydrogen hydrogen embrittlement will come that we have to see in the next slide so this is deeper penetration and due to this slow freezing it is heated but it is slowly it is slowly freezing but due to this slag former you have seen the slag former i have written here due to the slag former the heat cannot be extruded outside therefore it will be slowly cooled in such a way crack formation can be avoided so all portion welding especially in the vertical downward it having good fluidity therefore it goes deeper penetration it moves immediately to the downward and slag is found upward so it's no cooling but it is useful only for vertical downward not in the vertical upward what happens due to this fluidity if it is doing a vertical upward the motor metal it contains more fluid it is not fixing there it is also slow freezing slowly it will freeze 
Therefore, the motor meter will fall down. Therefore, it is not applicable for overhead questions. So that is some some of the disadvantage of the. But we can use for vertical downward. Vertical downward we can do like this. Like this we should vertical downward. Vertical upward or overhead question somehow it is difficult. Reasonably good mechanical properties. Mechanical properties also we are getting tensile strength impact are, are reasonably good. Here the problem occurs. High level of hydrogen generated. So we are avoiding snow freezing and we are avoiding the crack propagations by the distortions but here the hydrogen is generated what happens this hydrogen this hydrogen generated is makes the risk of cracking so how it is generated you see when the hydrogen is released at a higher temperature it, it become atom individual atom in it volume reduces you see the volume of the atom reduces when it is at the higher temperature therefore let us consider a four atoms here there are one more atoms are there at the center a hydrogen atoms is there at higher temperature here the metal is there now it is getting solidified the when it is hydrogen is solidified it volume increases it volume increases what happens you see this volume in keep increasing what happens it is disturbing the nearby atoms it is pushing the pressure is created the stress is created between the nearby atoms it means the nearby metals the molten metals hydrogen in between this molten material at the liquid state at high temperature but the same when it is coming down or to the room temperature or always in the, so in the state of solidification state in the state of solidification the volume increasing but there is no space to make the higher volume atom therefore what happens it creates the risk of cracking it gives the pressure over the all the nearby atoms therefore the stress created and the crack propagations are possible it is named as hydrogen embrittlement so to, to avoid this what about we should do we should reduce the hydrogen level in the approach the cellulose releases the shielding gas there we have hydrogen those things to be reduced and the interaction with the environment also to be reduced interaction of environment contains hydrogen that is to be reduced those things should be taken care so the atom hydrogen having volume less volume in the top high temperature it fixed there it fitted there this shielding gas absorbed from the environmental impurities and it is fixed there but the temperature when it comes down it volume increases and it disturbs the nearby atom therefore it pushes and stress created initiates the crack propagations which is named as hydrogen embrittlement so why it is applicable now it is applicable in pipelines, tanks, pressure vessels, structural pots. So we are using the high, high pressure vessels, tanks, pressure vessels, structures and the field works in the field works. So some of the applications we can able to use there. So now the advantage and disadvantage is the deeper penetration. This is the reason we are using slow cooling, slow freezing, it goes fluidity it reaches at last a zeroth point deeper penetration slow freezing yes the second point i have given suitable for welding in the all positions what is this all positions we have named especially in the vertical downward not in the overhead please you should remember fast travel speed yes fast travel speed are good due to good arc stability arc stability Due to its arc stability, we can go for speed. High heat is generated here. Large volume of shielding gas. Shielding gas is generated. What is the disadvantage is here? High in hydrogen. Very important. So what happens? Obviously, the crack is created. Hydrogen embrittlement. Rough capping appearance. High spatters also generated due to this arc stability. High current is passing there, high melting, fast process, some molten material spattered outside. 
So high patterns are possible. This is also very importantly to be avoided. Low deposition rates may appear. Now we came to the second one of rutile electrodes. What is this flux containing? It contains a rutile material of a titanium dioxide which is stated as arc ignition which takes care of arc ignition, smooth arc operations and low spatters. We avoided the spatter here. You see, the spatters are higher. This is avoided in the rutile electrodes. And we are using some clay for the binders. Many chemicals we are adding inside the flux over covers. So some binders we are adding. And sodium silicate. Sodium silicate is following for the, all the three. For the basic, rutile and cellulose. So main ionizer. It means arc stabilizer. So this is the classified as a general purpose electrode. Because of the rutile, because of the titanium dioxide rutile and ionizers, because of the sodium silicate and titanium dioxide in the coating used in either polarities. What is this either polarity? It can be used in direct DC EP, electro positive or otherwise direct current electro negative. Positive receives the heat. All portions. Good. It is vertical upward or overhead whatever it is. So somehow this it means fast freezing is there. Fast freezing. But then this, it, it reflects here, see, fillet welding and horizontal and vertical portions. There we are talking about only vertical downward, here we are talking about all verticals. So it have containing the property of a fast freezing, there it is slow freezing, deeper penetration we went. But now we want to go for the overhead portions. There what is the property we need, fast freezing we need. We need fast freezing, overhead welding to be done specifically. Then we can use these rotary electrodes. Already it is known as a general purpose. So it contains all positions. Here also hydrogen is there. Here also hydrogen product is there. So it gives the mechanical property of a moderate mechanical property. Good bead shape. As it is, it's fast freezing. We are getting a good bead shape out there. Positional welding can be done all questions. Easy slag removal possible and applications where we are using these things low pressure pipe work supporting brackets storage tanks gear blanks missionaries we can use as a general purpose welding i told you steel furnitures track bodies foundry equipments and shaft build we can able to do such applications mainly in the pressure pipeline works mainly in the pressure pipeline works but it's the advantage and disadvantage what happens see easy to use first general purpose easy to use overhead also use downward also use vertical also use horizontal also we can use it is all purpose easy to use low cost smooth weld profiles we are getting slag easily detachable somehow some slags due to its warmer condition it's, it will be mixed over the weld pool it cannot be removed so that is how easy here. High deep high deposition possible with the addition of iron coders. What why is iron coders usual? Arc stability. Creates the arc stability there. Then heat is generated. Obviously, deposition will be high. Melted and deposited. If you are taking and keeping and taking and keeping, it is disconnecting. This will not melt. Then obviously deposition will not be there in the specific time. We can keep welding of the same point for the entire one hour. And deposition we can achieve. But in a specific time, how much it is deposited? Well, this, this is possible here, high deposition rate. So, this, uh, disadvantages? So, what happened? Hydrogen. See, the hydrogen problem is there. High volume at a lower temperature, a low volume at the higher temperature. So, high, high temperature, no problem. It is inside. But when it is comes down to the solidification zone, the volume is increased and stress is created to the nearer weld metals. Obviously, what happens? The crack appears. It, it should come out. Therefore, the crack. It related to the crack. Therefore, low strength. Maybe low. It means all mechanical properties. Strength and toughness. So, these are the properties of rutile. So, we should come to the last one of load as basic electrodes. What it contains? So, similarly, this flux contains the limestone as a gas former. Shielding gas we are forming through the 
limestone base cellulose here we are using the calcium carbonate so fluorous form of the slag former the outer layer the slag and a sodium silicate potassium silicate see it is following for the all the three arc stability arc stability we are getting so and referred to as a low hydrogen electrode now we are coming avoiding this two disadvantages of positive here low hydrogen we are adding here this generation of cellulose we are due to the shielding gas only the hydrogen had created there you see here the risk of hydrogen and carbon monoxide are generated by this cellulose by the cellulose see now we are avoiding trying to avoid this because hydrogen embitterment are generated we are going to avoid this by using this calcium carbonate and we are avoiding and we refer to the low hydrogen electrodes so makes the slag more fluid than that of the rutile coating we can able to make the slag more fluid so slag is of a fast freezing time it can quickly freeze so what happens overhead is possible fast freezing suitable for vertical so see it is related overhead positions suitable for welding of a thicker steels and the steels with a high carbon contents welding of metal excellent mechanical property so in the previous we have seen the, this excellent word we have not used moderate good mechanical properties in the cellulose and the type but in the basic we are giving an excellent mechanical property because hydrogen is not there crack will not form obviously good bonding will be there we will get a good mechanical properties right basic features what are they well the portions and excellent mechanical property like a tensile and toughness low hydrogen content in the weld low hydrogen relatively fluid slags poor bud profile as it is fast freezing here we are seeing slow freezing smoothly the weld profile looks beautiful but here it is a fast freezing melting is good due to arc stability it is melted and it is deposited fast in immediate it is also solidified so what happens the bead profile is not that much perfect as it is dropped and immediately solidified so bead profile is not good so slag removal also difficult immediately freezing so this is interrelated this two points so slag removal also becoming difficult these electrodes are used for high quality applications because hydrogen hydrogen is not there cracks are not formed we can use it for high quality some tag welding you should do some ordinary machines whether the strength and mechanical properties are not required only joint is required at the time other you can use when the property we need perfect or excellent good strength to be there we can use this basic electrodes so produce a welded low hydrogen so they are, here also it is continuing which produces wells of low hydrogen content therefore strength increases it prevents the electrode coating from moisture absorption so what we have to do to avoid the moisture we have used ovens or two years skewers we have used those things we can use and baking up up to the 3 centigrade are possible up to for one hour one hour one hour they should be carefully stored in the and it should be dried so these things have to be done so basic features of basic electrodes are it is welding in the high strength low alloy steels addition of breaking immediately we need dryers to be used we should heat this basic electrode this rutile and cellulose no need of creating the ovens but here we should do the oven and drying operations to be done so applications welding pressure pipelines oil storage tanks ships boilers here there are present created carefully quality to be maintained there so such examples railway wagons we are using what are the advantages advantage we are getting high toughness low hydrogen very important low hydrogen and low no cracks no hydrogen no cracks so disadvantages high cost high control If this is not there this obviously this two are increasing high welder skills needed and convex welds can be that where the fluxes are how we are going the consumer electrode we are using the fluxes 
for shielding we know this but what are they are adding we have seen about uh, rutile fluxes rutile electrode cellulose electrode and basic electrodes so in this uh, this various compositions they have added such as uh, quartz enhancement current carrying capacities and mantle refining transformer for water metal droplets calcium carbonate we have seen this in the mixture calcium carbonate lower voltage and releases the gases releases the gases this only protects for the shielding gas it gives and ferrospar increase in the viscosity of the motor metal for fluid flow and high deeper penetrations ferromagnetic metal deoxidants oxidation to be avoided and then cellulose again see the cellulose releases the shielding gases and potassium water glasses bonding agent rutile titanium oxide rutile it's named as titanium oxide you have seen in the table also increasing the slag viscosity and easy striking of the initiating of the arc and maintaining of the arc it means stabilizing arc occurs so heat high generation obviously penetration we can go ahead high melting high deeper penetration deeper fa high fast welding we can do time saving we can do there right now we come to the SMW electrode basically composed of metal core that we know this is the metal core and a flux cover the metal core acts as the electrode as well as the filler rod SMW electrode specifications by American Welding Society classification as electrode 8013B2 likewise they are giving classifications for the electrodes depending upon the strength factors and flux alloying systems alloying system going to increase the mechanical property of the metal therefore we are doing this so see this image we already seen the at the center of the core wire is there maybe the filler metal addition flux also we can able to do the alloying system whatever it is but uh, later I am doing this cases you see this I am doing so I have named E8013B2 what it is then so this E belongs to electrode we should identify in the market we are going let us consider the supplier want to want this 80 ksi of tensile strength a manufacturer want to purchase this 80 ksi electrode and weld in case supplier wants the 70 ksi of tensile strength they have to purchase e7013 electrode and purchase and weld if you are welding through this electrode what happens this alloy system contains the quarter alloy system contains the alloy materials which gives that ATK SI strength factors. Therefore, we should purchase this. So, by the AWS, they are defining this like this. If the E is belongs to electrode, this next two letters 80 belongs to tensile strength in measured in KSI. And this number one belongs to the positions. What is this positions? this electrode having the good solubility good withstanding property so we can able to go to the overhead it will not melt and falls down so here 8013 belongs to positions of all 1g positions or 2g positions all positions so that it determines and then this 3 belongs to type of coating available what coating we have given such coatings we are defining in this number 3 as the fourth factor e first factor ksi positions all positions and the three it belongs to the coating and then the b2 it represents by the supplier manual b2 belongs to the chemical composition of the weld metal how much it is on the deposited zone so this factor we have to understand and keep moving for purchasing and welding so this is we have to know about the how how far this aws classifications have defined this numerical numbers identification of the electrode in continuous with that then, few examples I want to give you in the electrodes such that in this American Welding Society A 5.5 alloying systems we can able to see so this various causes are there we have taken they are naming the electrode in such format E7018 MG what are they? The supplier gives the name by with respect to stand of AWS. We are already seeing this also. Such examples, this image we have seen, they have given like this. So, few examples I want to give you here. 
At first, E represents the covered electrode. E represents the covered electrode. And then, the 70 represents the tensile strength value. And then the third one, the one represents the welding positions. Maybe a 1, 1, G, all positions. All positions. Represents the all positions and the 8. Next one, 8 represents the flux covering, whether it's a rotten covering, basis covering, cellulose covering, with respect to that, we have to see the manual. This 8 represents pitch covering methods, we have to see the supplier manual, with respect to standards. And then the M represents the moisture control, how much the presence of moisture can be absorbed, whether how much it's to be baked, 300 degrees centigrade, 150 degree, or Q or 70 degree, that the conditions we have to refer and purchase. This all effects, see, at last one, G, alloy content, how much for improvement of the properties, we are adding some alloys. For shielding gases, we are adding, not only we have seen the tables, how much what alloy is added there. So such combinations we can able to see in AWS A5.5 standards. So these are the things. We have to, the flux covering is important, welding positions. If you are purchasing from the supplier, the electrode for only useful for flat positions and it having, does not having quick freezing, we cannot able to use the overhead positions. So this represents, one represents here all positions. If you are purchasing other positions which are only suitable for flat welding process, it means fast freezing ability, alloying is not added proper. If you are purchasing and you are welding over the overhead positions, it causes it damages. So that we have to look over all these things, alloying systems, moisture welding, tensile strength. Finally we need, after welding, it should be withstand the strength factors. Therefore, we have to look over this and we have to purchase on the supply. Similarly, one more example I have given with respect to A, AWS A5.1 bar 5 example of electrode flux types. See? See? We have seen already this is cellulose flux, rutile flux and basic fluxes. In this, the cellulose flux for the identification I am telling it ends with zeros and ones. You see? E6010 and 101 and then rotate flux ends with 2, 3 and 4 you see it's research with the 2, 2, 3 here, here I am telling you 2, 2, 3 and 4 such that we understand by seeing the number in the industry here one welding will runs and that's where one welding will runs with respect to that, they have used in different type of electrode for the different application with respect to different alloying systems for the different components. Maybe pressure versions, maybe boiler pans, heads. So this alloying system with respect to strength factors we are using. Therefore, this represents which one? One represents the cellulose. With respect to those applications, they are replacing this one. Let us consider I am the welding engineer. I am going for the inspection of which electrode they are using there. In, in immediate I can able to see the electrode. The printing will be there and checking. So this is belongs to rotate flux. We can able to see. And we have to see the specifications whether which electrode to be used there and whether there. Welders are only skilled with respect to welding. They don't know how much technical. This whether they have to use zero, whether they have to use two, rotate or cellulose. They go, they take and then they start welding. And if it over it is not possible, they, uh, they will get the damages. They will get the accidents. So this is our welding engineer's duty to check those things whether they are using the proper electrode or not. And then see the basic flux. The idea, it ends with 5, 6, 7, 8. For example, I have given, see. E60, 60 belongs to tensile, E belongs to electrode, 1 belongs to positions and 6 belongs to the basic fluxes, ending flux combinations, how much flux we are using, 6, 7, 8 and 8, see for examples I have given here. And one more with respect to British standard 6039. Up, up to now we have seen the American standards AWS, AWS. So here the British standard 639, here also they have divided into some, some other categories such that see E belongs to 
the cover covered electron similar pattern but some additional information they have added here and then 51 belongs to e distant the tensile synth this 33 this the next net double double factors the 33 belongs to toughness next one the b belongs to flux covering this is belongs to the basic basic fluxes in the same point in the one two third fourth category they may have cellulose they have may have rutile in case of rutile we have to r will be there so and then the next one it belongs to weld metal recovery iron powder content how much iron we are adding for the arc stability higher the ions likewise and then at last two represents the welding positions 2g likewise they can we can able to understand we have to see the manuals what positions two represents and then at the last zero represents the electrical characteristics the dcr electro negative electro positive which which will be it will be useful otherwise it will be for the both polarities ac also possible such cancels we can able to see from here at last the hydrogen content i told you during study of this rutile fluxes and cellulose fluxes the hydrogen contents are there hydrogen embrittlement will take place presence of hydrogen the volume increases when it comes to the temperature downwards therefore this hydrogen content to be less to be less here this h represents here the point will be given there this electrode you have to see the specifications how much hydrogens are there accordingly you should purchase less hydrogen content is preferred so some other examples also similarly i have given there covered electrode tensile toughness chemical compositions flux coverings welding positions hydrogen content some few example with respect to british standards for 99 right so the summary in welding we have seen about today the types of electrodes in this types of electrodes we have seen one as basic cellulose and then rutile here no hydrogen good properties and here there are hydrogens are there presence of of hydrogen here also presence of hydrogens are there so this is how the types of electrodes we have seen the remaining part of the subject we will see you in the next session thank you